In this tutorial, I show you how to create a very simple walk cycle. The starting point for this tutorial is the character rig made in the Control Bones tutorial. You can make the rig yourself or download the file from my website. Go into object mode and with the armature selected, press S to scale 0.5 and enter. To move the character up, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, 2.5 and enter. In the view menu, toggle quad view so that we can view selected and toggle back into quad view. I'm going to set up four poses for a simple walk cycle. Two poses with the legs apart and two with the legs crossing. For each pose, I'm going to set up a keyframe. The total length of the walk cycle will be 20 frames. Go into pose mode. To insert a keyframe, I use the rhyme, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame five, make change, pose the character, select the lower arm, press G for grab and move the arm down. Do the same on the other side, select, G, move the arm down, click the Tools tab, under Keyframes click Insert, Whole Character. The pose isn't finished, one of the legs should be off the ground, but I'll come back to that. Go to Frame, go to Frame 1, make change, select the leg control bone, press G for grab and move the leg forwards. Select the control bone of the other leg, press G for grab and move the leg back. Select the arm, and if the leg is going forwards, the arm must go back, G for grab. Select the other arm, G for grab, and move it forwards. Select the root bone, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, and move the character down. And don't forget to insert the keyframe, whole character. Because of symmetry, we actually only have to set up two poses. Press A twice to select all bones and in the Pose menu, Copy Pose. Go to Frame, go to Frame 10. Make Change in the Pose menu, Paste X Flipped. Insert Keyframe, Whole Character. Go to Frame 20. If we want Blender to interpolate over the last five frames, then the pose in frame 20 must be the same as the pose in frame 1. In the pose menu, paste pose and insert keyframe whole character. Rewind and stepping through the animation, the character is about to put its weight onto its leading leg, its left leg. So at frame 5, we need to raise the right leg off the ground. Select the control bone, press G for grab and raise the leg so that the legs are crossing. Insert keyframe whole character. Press A twice to select all. In the pose menu, copy the pose. Go to frame, go to frame 15. Make change, paste the pose X flipped. Insert keyframe whole character. Before pressing play, you should have five keyframes represented by five yellow lines. At frame one, you should have the legs apart pose. At frame five, the legs crossing pose. Frame 10, the legs apart flipped. Frame 15, the legs crossing flipped. And at frame 20, the legs apart. In the view menu, toggle quad view, click play, and we get a basic walk cycle. If I set the total length of the animation to 150 frames and click play, the cycle is only played once. How do I get it to repeat? The easiest way of making the walk cycle repeat is to use cyclic extrapolation. Change the timeline window into a graph editor. In the channel menu, extrapolation mode, make cyclic. Using the shortcut key, Alt and A, to play the animation, 
The walk cycle is repeated, but the character remains at the same location. How do we get the character to walk forwards? Change the window back to a timeline window and go into object mode. Click the object properties button, zoom back with the mouse wheel and set the Y location of the armature to 8. Right click on the Y location and insert single keyframe. Go to the last frame, frame 150, set the Y location of the armature to minus 8, right click, insert single keyframe. Before clicking play, change the 3D view window to a graph editor window and we see the green line for the Y location of the armature. Make sure the keyframe for the Y location is the only one selected. In the key menu, set the interpolation mode to linear. Now the armature will travel at a constant speed as the walk cycle is repeated. Change the window back to 3D view and click play and the character walks forwards. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.